program all about taking good care of our feathered, furry and finned friends, I thought we were going to look at more unusual pets. But according to the National Ferret Welfare Society, and there is such a thing, there are about one million ferrets kept as pets in the UK. Now Rob the Vet is here to tell us why. Why would you keep a ferret as a pet? Do they make good pets? Ferrets are brilliant. They're fun, they're playful, they're inquisitive. But just as with any other household pet, you've still got to get regular checkups just to make sure they're staying healthy. Well, if we want to keep good care of our ferret, what should we be looking at? Well, the big topic at the moment is female ferrets. Female ferrets will come into season as they mature and they'll stay in season continually. Now, this is a problem because if they stay in season, they can become anemic and they can die. So what we need to do is we need to have uh, strategies in order to bring them out of season. Traditionally, we would always spay them. But now what they found is if you spay them early, it can predispose them towards diseases later on in life. Okay. As a veterinary surgeon, we would also use a long acting injection to bring them out of season. But this is getting more and more difficult because less and less vets are holding onto it. We now have an implant which will stop them being in season, except for the fact that it is a little bit expensive. We would normally give them a little bit of anesthetic and then put the implant in just so that it's a bit nicer for the ferrets. What you need to do is speak to your vet. The easiest thing to do is to talk through the different options, find out what the prices are, and then you can make the best decision available for you. Okay, well, shall we take a look at our special guest on the show today, who is Frank the Ferret. Look at Frank. Now, is Frank, uh, this is an albino ferret, isn't it? Because he's got the red eyes and the white fur. Hello, Frank. Well, looking at Frank, you can see he's absolutely full of beans. The common problems that we see in ferrets in our practice is, number one, obesity. People tend to feed them lots, they will leave them in a cage all day, and they'll tend to get fat. These guys need to be out and about getting lots of exercise. The other thing we have problems with is tooth decay. So this is Frank, and as we can see, he's full of beans. <laughs> he's gorgeous. And we do check teeth, and we have a look like this to check for tooth decay, and like this to check for tooth decay. He's actually got pretty horrible teeth. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing these guys do get is they will get fleas. So we will have a look through the coat and check for any signs of any parasites. Or we'll do a cold push test and just see if anything comes it's melting. off. There is a licensed product available that we can use to treat these guys. It's nice and safe. Well, I never knew there were so many ferrets as pets in this country. If you're a ferret owner, do take the very best care of your ferret. And if you've got any questions whatsoever, as Rob says, always check with your local vet.